This morning in the Roadshow Kitchen, we are eating with the ecosystem. Genesis Center is here. Chef Joshua is the man who's going to cook up a great dish for us. It's actually perfect because it's Ash Wednesday. A lot sure. of people are looking for maybe a fish dish. Yeah. What are we making? Well, we've got actually an assortment of fish here. And the nice thing about this recipe is that you can really use any whole fish that you find. Local fish, perfect, mm -hmm. round fish. We've got black bass, squatig, scup, whiting. Any of these work really well. We're going to make it in a Middle Eastern style. So very yeah. simple flavors, very simple cooking preparation. We're going to bake it with a little bit of harissa. This is a red pepper paste. Mm -hmm. We're going a little to, bit of a kick there. You know, you can make it yourself. If you don't like it spicy, you can use bell peppers. But this one is store-bought. It does have a little bit of a kick. Mm -hmm. We're going to kind of you know, mellow that out a little with some citrus. Great. We have um, olive oil, we have some vinegar, we have citrus, we have mm -hmm. red onion. Uh, we're gonna season the fish itself with a little bit of garlic and scallion. And then to finish the dish off, to really get that middle, kind of mid Middle Eastern flavor to it, mm -hmm. we're gonna use some sumac and turmeric to finish the dish, so. I like turmeric. Yeah, yeah, it's really a great way to do this fish because the fish itself is so fresh, so, so flavorful that just that added little kick at the end is gonna gonna bring it out. And what's nice when you make a whole fish is that you don't have to take the extra time of now filleting it and going through that whole process. This is gonna be really easy. Right, that's the goal here is that we don't wanna make anything over complicated. We have the benefit of having some of the best seafood in the world. So mm -hmm. if we can just get it into the oven and cook it properly with some simple flavors, the job is done. Love that. Okay, we've got everything we need. We're gonna tell you more about the Genesis Center and how we are eating with the ecosystem coming up in just a little bit. Everybody, we are back in the Roadshow Kitchen, Genesis Center, um, because we are, we, we've got these whole fish that you're ready to, you know, ready to get going. We're right. cooking with whole fish today. That's right. Um, what do you want to do right now? Well, you know, just a, a little bit of advice about fish. People sometimes get scared with how to cook whole fish. Mm -hmm. The general rule, anywhere between 425 and 450 degrees in the oven, and about 10 minutes for every inch of thickness. So what I'm going to do is just get a... Okay. You get a hot here. plate? I do. I have a, a nice stoneware dish. So the cool thing about this, it can go into the oven, whatever temperature I want. I started it with a little bit of the same seasoning we're going to use on the fish. Right. Olive oil, garlic. I put a little scallion in there. I'm going to salt it just a touch as well. We can take our whole fish and just season it up the same right, way as we would usually season any other type of meat. Okay. Okay, I can start it on this. And you're going to do that. And while you're doing that, tell us about Eating with the Ecosystem because you want to know where your food is coming from. Exactly, yeah. So Eating with the Ecosystem is a nonprofit here in Rhode Island, and we focus on promoting a place-based approach to sustaining New England's wild seafood. Right. And you have so many varieties. I, first, I, this, I mean, if you want seafood, this is the place to get exactly. it. Exactly. Oh. Rhode Island has over a hundred of species that are landed here locally. Um, and so we brought a few species here today, four right. of them. Um, we have the black sea bass. We have scup, we have uh, our uh, weak fish or squeetig, right. uh, and then we have whiting right over here. And these were all caught locally. When you go out and you, you teach people about some of the fish that we have in our waters or where the fish is coming from, what's the reaction of people? Because a lot of people may not, they may not even know. They, they go to a restaurant, they go someplace, they grab you something to eat, and they may not think in the back of their mind where their fish is coming from. Exactly. By eating local fish, you're supporting the local ecosystem itself, which right. is really important. Um, you're maintaining the balance of that ecosystem by eating a wide variety of species. Um, and then you're also supporting your local fishermen, sure. and so you're supporting your community. Right. Um, it's a circle of life. Exactly. Right. Back to the Lion King again. All right. Thanks yeah. so much. <laughs> thanks so much for telling us about that. We will uh, put this dish together and also talk to these guys about what they have going on. Back to you. All right, we are cooking with the Genesis Center, eating with the ecosystem. It's all about kind of using what we have all around us, right? right. That's we right. need to utilize and preserve those resources. Exactly. Right. We have such great seafood here in Rhode Island that the simpler we prepare it, the, the better the dish is going to be. Mm -hmm. You know, as chefs, what we always crave is just the best ingredients. And this is one of those opportunities where the best ingredients are just so easy to source here in Rhode Island. Yeah. Um, and you've brought along a lot of them. That's right. So we have a couple of fish right now. We have our black bass in the oven. All right. Okay. We've got it on a stoneware dish. Look at this. There's something about the presentation wow. of a whole fish yeah. that is just really just beautiful. I mean, what, you know, the other thing that's simple about this, sometimes people get a little discouraged with filleting fish or, mm -hmm. you know, not knowing how to take the skin off. In this case, what we do is we just ask the 
fish up to, to gut the fish. If you don't care for the head on the fish, some people love that presentation. Right. Some people yeah. are scared off by it. Right. You just ask them to remove the head. Uh, with some kitchen shears, you could even remove the, the, the fins there if mm -hmm. you'd like. But in this case, I think it's just really a rustic dish. It's a, a really nice preparation to cook the fish whole. Yep. We had a little bit of oil on the bottom, garlic, scallions. We topped the fish with the same thing. We put it in the oven for about 10 minutes for every inch of thickness. Right. So this was about 450, but okay. you know, anywhere between 425 and 450 is a really good I like that you use this. that reference. It kind of, people kind of do the same thing when it comes to lobster, depending on the weight of that. Exactly. In this case, it's the thickness of the fish. Yeah, I mean, if we were grilling the fish, we might want to look at it really, really intensely, but in the oven, that's a general rule, 425 mm -hmm. to 450 for 10 minutes every inch of the fish. Yeah. This is a I think a lot of people yeah, just kind of get intimidated if they've never prepared yeah. fish or something like that and they think, Absolutely. I can't do it, but it's really not as difficult as you think. Absolutely. So here we have a really nice stoneware dish that can go into the oven, it can get hot, the fish goes right onto it, it sears. Once we know that it's cooked, mm -hmm. um, we can prepare the topping for this, which Ooh, is okay. oh, now we're our talking. harissa. Right? And again, you know, some of these recipes are just kind of to eye, although we could really define them. We just want to make sure that we have enough seasoning here between the harissa the acid of the lemon juice. Mm -hmm. we're, oh, we're gonna put a little bit of... Look at the That's way he I recovers so deftly. <laughs> That's what I love about cooking, though, as opposed to baking. You know, baking is a yeah. science, and it really is wonderful. But at the same time, cooking, you can you can do a little more eyeballing you of can. ingredients sure. and right. play around, a sure. little more of this, a little less of that. Sure. Sure. So you can uh, infuse it with your own personal preference a little mm -hmm. bit more, too. Exactly, and, and that's kind of the goal here. You know, this is one particular dish that I'm very comfortable with. This is kind of Middle Eastern flavors. Yep. That's my background. I'm Persian, so I have a lot of experience with these ingredients. But if you're Italian and you're used to using using, you know, parsley and lime and oregano or you know, those things you can use. If you're Latin American, you want to use salsa or salsa fresca or something like that, mm -hmm. do it. This is really just about the preparation of the whole fish and seasoning it with whatever types of flavors you really and enjoy. And let's not forget the key ingredient, love. <laughs> <laughs> yes, always. As you top that, um, you said you were kind of comfortable with this fish. Sure. But for those who aren't comfortable dealing with fish, there's a school fish mm -hmm. workshop. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, at Hope and Maine, that we were hearing we can learn more, even more if we really want to. That's right. Brush up on our own skills yeah. and familiarity. Great, great opportunities here in Rhode Island. Uh, Eating with the Ecosystem runs some workshops at Hope and Maine. Mm -hmm. um, you can find those on their website, and also awesome. Genesis Center, which I'm representing today, right. has a culinary incubator and workshop. Shop, uh, program right here in Providence. So people that Very are maybe cool. looking to start a fish-related business or process fish or do things like that can come and rent the space. Why if you're not? looking to get more skills on cooking, whether it's professional or just kind of your, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, home cook, you can look into the workshops there as well. And it's you know, I often awesome. joke about what a cooking novice I am. I'm learning more slowly, but this would be a great opportunity for someone like me who's a beginner. Absolutely. Great. This is looking you know, good. So you looks, can still kind of hear that sizzle. Yeah. <laughs> Love that sizzling sound. So, all right, awesome. so this is the way that I would finish this dish. We have the mm -hmm. harissa. We have the onions that are raw. They've just been marinating for about a minute while we talked here in our oil, our vinegar, in the harissa. Yum. It We're smells gonna, awesome, doesn't it? Really it really does. Oh, man. Great. Well, I'll just use all of this, so this is kind of done by eye. <laughs> Our segment time is just about up, but this is the guy, Chef Joshua. He will continue Beautiful. to prepare this. We'll get a nice shot of this uh, as we wrap up things here today. If you would like to learn more about what he's up to, the Genesis mm -hmm. Center, all the great programs he mentioned, you know what to do. Hey, thanks very much. Absolutely, guys. Yeah, it was fun. Wonderful job. Visit us at roadshow.com.